So we got a little tucker. And we said, okay, we're gonna tell the rest of the country that we had enough. Put an equalization referendum on the ballot. We want to end equalization. And the purpose of that was to start a launch of constitutional discussions where we could talk about changing our relationship with the rest of the country. And what was the federal government's response to that? They gave us Environment Minister Stephen Gilbo. <laughs> Probably the most anti oil and gas development environment minister we have ever had. For heaven's sakes, he climbed the roof of Ralph Klein's house when Ralph was premier. He scaled the CN Tower when uh, he was an activist to save the heat, to show how much he opposed oil and gas development. And the people that I've talked to said he hasn't changed a bit. He's an activist, will always be an activist. And he started a just transition consultation with the idea that our energy sector is going to just transition out of the industry altogether. That was their response to our equalization referendum. And even more, we said, stay out of our areas of jurisdiction. And what did they do? They drove a bus right into our lane. They told us how to manage daycare. They told us that they want to get into our dental care. They told us that they want to have pharma care. They told us they want to take over long-term care. Do you know why they do this? Because every single time there's a national program, we pay a dollar fifteen for every dollar we get back in return. So they take our money, they dribble a bit back to us with a bunch of conditions, and make us beg and plead for it as long as we do it their way. They siphon off the rest so that they can subsidize programs in Quebec and Eastern Canada so they can continue to, to win votes. Why do we continue to put up with this? 